And one of the cool things about the way pipelines have been set up is that we can create our own classes that represent elements in that pipeline. The book gives a number of different examples, and this is uh, one of the examples directly from the book. This is the data frame selector. The goal here is what it, what it does is it uh, grabs uh, data in the form of a data frame object, and it, it allows you to specify which columns of that data frame that you want. And when we go to transform uh, the data, the return value is a NumPy array that contains just the specified columns. So, uh, so let's talk about this class definition here. This data frame selector class that we're creating is a child of two different parent classes. One is an estimator class and one is a transformer class because they, this particular class satisfies both of those. The constructor takes as input one parameter, that's this attribs parameter. This is going to be the list of columns that we care about uh, during the extraction phase. And all that the, the code does is it saves that list into an instance variable. Notice the, that we have a variable attribs here that refers to the local variable, that is the parameter coming in, and self.attribs refers to the instance variable. So this actually works the, the same way uh, as it does with, uh, with Java and with C++. The assumption is made when we have the same symbol, the assumption is made that we're referring to a local variable, unless we explicitly reference the instance itself. For this particular class, the fit method is not going to do anything for us uh, because all, all we're going to be doing is extracting a, a set of columns and, and, all, and, and what this class instead does is it remembers what columns it needs to extract, and then it uses those during the transformation process. So in this particular case, fit does the simple thing of returning the reference to the object itself. This turns out to be a, a convenience for using the, the fit method in other interesting ways. It's not uncommon to see this definition of, of fit in terms of the input parameters. Uh, this X is always required. That's the input into the fitting process. And Y, if it's a, if, if we're solving a uh, supervised learning problem, Y is the desired outputs. Notice that it has a default value of, of none here. So you, you'll see this in a, a variety of examples that are out there. The transform definition takes as input this X here. That is our data frame object. And you can see here we're, we're explicitly extracting the, the, the columns uh, that, are, that were specified at the time of uh, creation of this instance when the constructor was called. This call here, or this bit of code here, x, uh, open square bracket, close square bracket, that itself re resolves to a new data frame object, and then dot values gives us access to the corresponding NumPy array. So let's go ahead and execute that. So that pushes, it, pushes this definition out into, uh, in, into the Python environment for us to use. So let's use this very quickly here. So let's define what our attrib attributes ought to be. And for fun, let's, well, let, let's look at left wrist x, y, and z. There's left wrist x. So there's our list of attributes that we're going to be interested in. And now let's go ahead and create an, an instance of this pipeline element. We'll call that a selector. Okay, so at time of construction, we're specifying the columns that are of interest to us. Let's execute that. And now we can use this to transform uh, our data set. Oops. 
Okay, so so uh, selector dot transform that takes as input our data frame object. It's going to return a, a NumPy array that contains just three uh, columns. In fact, let's go ahead and print that out. So execute that, and you'll see that uh, the return NumPy array it has some number of rows. We, we don't we don't know by looking at this. Uh, it happens to be 15,000, uh, but it has just the three columns uh, corresponding to left wrist X, Y, and Z. Okay, so that's an explanation of what uh, the, the book has done with the, one of their examples. Next up, we're gonna look at a couple of other examples.